Hello and welcome to Excel Wednesday. In this tutorial, I am sharing technique to use Excel camera tool. Excel camera tool allow you to take picture of a chart or range of cells that updates automatically while the data updates. It is quite useful if you are building dashboards and reports. Subscribe the channel and press the bell icon to get new videos notification. Let's start the video. Excel camera tool is not available on the mainstream ribbon. We are going to activate it on the quick access toolbar. So click on the quick access toolbar arrow. More commands. There are two columns and a drop down list. From the left column drop down list select all commands. And now search camera. For that press C. Scroll down. And here we can find camera. Add and OK. The camera tool is successfully added in the quick access toolbar. To use the camera tool, simply select the range of cell that you want to take the live picture. Remember, while using the camera tool, you are not limited to show single cell value. Since the image is dynamic and linked with the cell range, therefore it automatically updates everything fall in that selected cell range. So, I am selecting A1 till F28 and just hit the camera tool. Now click anywhere to paste the picture of the selected range. We have the picture and we can rotate it. We can resize it. We can format it from the picture format tool. We can apply different styles. We can customize it. To customize it, right click and click on format picture. We can apply Fill, Solid Fill, Gradient, Picture or Texture Fill, Pattern Fill, anything you like. You can also apply Border from the Line option. You can choose the Gradient Line. You can choose the Transparency, Width, Color, Compound Type of the Line, Dash Type, anything. From the Effects tool, you can apply the Shadow. You can apply reflection, you can apply glow and same options are available in the picture format, picture effects, picture border, picture layout. The camera tool is effective to enhance your dashboards and reports. It allows you to consolidate disparate ranges into one single print area. You can easily rotate your objects to save time. And most important, you can create a small chart without worrying about column width and draw height. If you find this tutorial helpful, make sure you let me know by leaving a comment and a thumbs up below. You can also give your suggestion for future videos in comments. See you in next tutorial.